Hey everyone, it's Taylor and welcome back to Above the Yellow Line, the show where we talk all about the NASCAR Cup Series and Happy New Year. We are in 2023. Pretty wild. Uh, hopefully this is a very good year for you all and hopefully it's a good NASCAR season as well. But for this video, we are doing part two of the merchandise episode. I showed you all what I had in part one, half of my collection. I'll show you the second half of my NASCAR collection in this episode. So without further ado, no more stalling. Let's get to it. We started last video with the Funko Pops. We're doing that again with the addition of these mini helmets. The first one I gotta talk about is this Jimmy Johnson 48 Ally helmet. I got this at one of the tents outside the track at Charlotte Motor Speedway. They have a lot of great vintage merch and just merch in general there. So if you haven't checked those out before, make sure you do. Now the next helmet, this Body Armor Ryan Blaney 12 helmet is one that I've had on my radar for quite a bit. This was the first actual purchase I made at a merch hauler at Charlotte. My love for body armor, it just made sense. I love these mini helmets and I hope to collect more. Now for these Funko Pops, the hardest one to find was the Truex one, but the one I'm most proud of is one that Sawyer actually found um, at a retro gaming store. It was this Dale Earnhardt one, the first Funko Pop in the NASCAR collection. This, if you don't have one of these, the gas can drinkware things, get one. It, it's just, it, they're so much fun. Then of course, a few trinkets here and there that I have, a Frisbee, some tires coming up on your screen. But then we gotta move on to the Stroker Ace vinyl. I have not listened to it yet. I also haven't seen the Stroker Ace movie. I wanna see the movie before I am able to listen to this and hopefully I might do that on a live stream so stay tuned for that but this was a very exciting find you guys these pins I love pins these were all designed by Rob Branding he made the ATYL logo also of course ATYL crew member they are fantastic link in bio to find those with pins looked at it's time to move on to the flags that I have in my collection one of these being the Tony Stewart number 14 Stewart Haas racing one Next up is one of my prized NASCAR possessions. I've had this flag signed by members of NASCAR and drivers in the Cup Series since 2018 when I really got invested in the sport. This flag's been signed by Brian Blaney, Bubba Wallace, Eric Jones, Kyle Larson, Austin Dillon, Chris Buescher, Joey Logano. The most recent signatures from last year come from Brad Keselowski, Todd Gilliland, Kelly Earnhardt, and Kyle Busch at Michigan. And then this poster that I'm excited to have as part of the 2023 ATYL set from Lou Creative. I won this in a contest. You might hear that a lot during these videos too, um, but I was very stoked to win this because there are some awesome designs on this poster. Then we move on to hats. I had this hat signed at the RFK Fan Day by Jack Roush, Brad, and Chris. The next hat is very special to me. It is a Dale Earnhardt Senior seven time champ hat. This is one of my favorite hats of all time. And then we move on to a signed Alex Bowman Nationwide 88 hat. I won this in another contest a few years back. Uh, it's one of my favorite hats as well. I could say that about a lot of these hats, quite honestly. We have a Napa Racing hat, kind of a red, white, and blue theme. And then we have another Napa Racing hat that I actually got, I believe, after Chase Elliott won the championship. Moving on to some more hats, this Toyota Racing one I got at the track. This was a gift from Dom Joseph, this Kurt Busch number one Monster Energy hat. Then the exclusive ATYL hat, you can't find it anywhere, just have to include it because it is technically merch. We got a Joey Logano hat, another gift from Dom Joseph. He was cleaning out his collection, sent that to me, very grateful for that. And then a Team Penske hat that my sister actually found at a Goodwill. And after hats, we go to cars. And you guys, I kind of underestimated how many cars I have at my apartment. I have a lot of 164s that I've just kept in drawers. And when I run out of drawers, I go to shoe boxes. So this is what I have in that collection. Some of these are a bit newer from last season. We have the Josh Berry one. That's one of my favorites. The Fast and All car. We have some of the testing cars as well that I made sure I tried to collect all of those. I think I'm missing one or two. The Joey Logano AAA one is great too. I was so excited when I found that Kevin Harvick 164. It's one of my favorite schemes of the 2022 season. The Truex one, again, his merch is pretty hard to find. I don't know why. And then that Daniel Suarez one, I was excited when I found that at Target. These are two other ones that I have. This Dale Earnhardt Victory Daytona 500 one that I have, I actually found at the tents at Charlotte. And moving on to some more 164s. Some of these are a little bit older. This is when I first started collecting the 164, so it wasn't too long ago. One of my favorites in this is the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, the number 23 for Bubba Wallace. I do like that Kyle Larson McDonald's scheme as well. Then we got some Ryan Blaney's, Chase Elliott's, and William Byron, the flames on that Exalta car I love. 
Then we go back to a few newer ones with the newer waves kind of sort of mixed in a little bit. I do love collecting these. It's a fun pastime for me. I love going through the Walmarts and the Targets and just seeing what I can find. And if I find something that I've never seen before, I grab it right away. A lot of that goes with the haulers. They're a little bit more expensive, obviously, than these 164s, but nevertheless, it is a fun treasure hunt to look for these cars. More 164s, some of these are a lot older, some of them newer, like this 2021 NASCAR Kids car. And then some of these actually my boyfriend's mom kept for a little bit. That bus, the Cheerios 43 bus, is one of my favorites in this collection because it's so unique. I haven't seen it anywhere else. I haven't really seen it posted on eBay or anything. So for me, it's very cool to have that in my collection because I think it might be rare. If you know, let me know in the comments below. And then we have my haulers, of course. These aren't all of them. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, these are the majority of what I have. I love that Daniel Suarez hauler. It took me a bit to find that one. And that Brad Keselowski one, that took a bit to find as well, but that's probably my favorite I have in my collection. Then we move on to the 124s. For me, some of my favorite older schemes come from DW. The Western Auto schemes are probably one of my favorite. When Denny Hamlin threw back to it, I feel like a few years ago at Darlington, I loved that scheme so much and it made me really want to get these schemes, these 124s for myself. This is a chrome one I had and I, I could not open the box for you guys. So we're just going to have some shots of this car in the box, but I, I just love the neon orange. And then we go to two other die casts that I have, this Dale Jr. download one, and then I have an Atlanta 2021 Ryan Blaney win car. This one's my favorite, and it actually has some of the star confetti on the hood too that I greatly treasure. I got that Dale Jr. download die cast actually at Junior Motorsports this past summer. Then you all know these cars. These are the Dale Jr. and Dale Sr. cars that they ran at the exhibition race in Japan in 1998. I fell in love with these schemes all over again after Trackhouse ran replica schemes for Darlington for the 2022 season. I was so excited to get these as part of my collection, the bank versions. Moving on to another important piece of my collection for me is this number 15 Michael Waltrip Daytona 500 winning car. Just knowing the history behind this day, it was important for me to have the winning car for that day. Uh, for me too, I also love Michael Waltrip, so it just made sense. This was actually the first car in my collection. I played with Hot Wheels as a kid, so to have this be the first car that my grandparents gave me to kind of kick off my NASCAR collecting habits, which have kind of started to go out of control a little bit, was very exciting. This is one of my favorite schemes of all time. Just, I love the blue. Blue and orange for me, I love on a scheme. Then the Elliott Sadler number 38, 2006 Ford Fusion car, any m and scheme. I fall in love with. So this was one of them. Speaking of sweets and staying on that theme, this 2004 Lucky Charms Jeff Green number 43. For me, it's the red on this car because it's not like a deep red, but it's kind of orangey. It's the red orange that I love. Um, and also Lucky Charms as a kid was my go-to cereal. So then this number five car. I've mentioned this before, but this has to be one of my favorite paint schemes of all time. Not because the colors like work together really well, but because it's just nostalgic. Then I got this Alex Bowman first race win from 2019. The confetti on this car makes it quite honestly. And the quality at this point of the car is really good as well. I was looking at the newer cars versus the older cars and I'm like, wow, I mean, can we get back to that please? Uh, but this Exalta car looks fantastic. So now that you've seen all of my collection, what do you think I'm missing? What else do you think I need to get? Let me know in the comments below and please continue to share your collections, tagging me on social media at underscore Taylor Kitchen underscore on Twitter and at above the alone line on Instagram. But for more NASCAR content, make sure to check us out at tobychristy.com on all social media platforms and tobychristy.com to hear and read more from the teams and your favorite drivers. Last but not least, this episode would not be possible without our great partners, Shaq Eyegear. Thank you to them for supporting us here at Above Fuel Online and tobychristy.com. In the meantime, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends and family, and you all, thank you so much for supporting us here at Above Fuel Online and tobychristy.com. And until next time, I'll see you.